says this, if you're in Christ, if you've been forgiven, you go to heaven upon death, but if you're lost, you descend into the pit of hell. Your body goes into the ground, but your, your soul goes to hell forever. And, and, and the thing about it is, God doesn't decide, you decide. Because God's already opened up the way to heaven. You can turn it down. What we're offering tonight is a free gift to get into heaven. Can I be completely honest? I'm agnostic, but I completely support your decision to like spread your religion okay why are you agnostic do you are you are you are you just a normal agnostic or are you an ornery agnostic i'm not sure do you, do you know uh, the difference i personally don't think your soul descends into hell because i think you're here to learn and if you make bad decisions then that's that like, what's your authority for even saying that at least when i say something it's coming from authority that god wrote this book now if god didn't write this book then it's all a dream, it's all a fantasy, who gives a flip? But if this book God's is true, well, that's not true. Well, or you, if you've read the book, man, it's God. It's God wrote the book, right? Through men. Can you prove it? But what can you yeah, take got, to be real in this world? Well, I'll tell you what, visit a graveyard. Visit a graveyard. I mean, that's, oh, what? I'm 54, okay? So I've been where you've, you've been, okay? And the older I got, I look back and I don't laugh at the things I used to laugh at. I'm not as smug as about the same things I used, I'm not, I'm not being smug about it. No, me. I'm saying in my youth, okay, I look at different things older because when you start seeing people die, even your wicked, lost, unsaved, hell-bound comedians, as they're getting closer to 70s, 75, they even start talking different. Now, they're not Christians, 
but they go, you know what, we thought we knew it. What I'm saying to you at you guys' age, you ought to consider what this book says. One time, uh, some men came to Jesus Christ and they said this, they go, who gave you the authority? You said you're an agnostic. This is for agnostics. Who gave you the authority to preach? And he says this, I'll tell you what, I'll answer your question if you answer mine. The baptism of John, John the Baptist, was it from men or from heaven? And they got together. Now check this out. They go, now look, if we tell them that it was from heaven, then they're going to go, why didn't you believe it? But we can't say that. We can't We can't go against that because we don't accept what Jesus is saying. You know what they did? They turned around and they said, we can't tell. Okay? They didn't know. They knew near the answer, but they lied. And basically they said, hey, agnosticism, we can't tell. So what I'm saying to you is, there's no such thing as an agnostic that hasn't proved. If you haven't never read this book, all right, then you can't. I actually have read the Bible. Okay, you know how many? I'm, I'm 54. I've heard that so many times. Tell me one book you read. What? Tell me a book that you read. Like a regular book? Like a novel? No, one of the books of the Bible. Tell me where you read. You said you read it. That's a big book. I mean, most people, most Christians don't read the Bible. So when I hear someone say they have read the Bible. I haven't, like, read page for page, but I've, like, definitely, like, skimmed through it. And I've read, like, just, like, the pocket Bible that you get at, like, the, um, like, Barnes & Noble because I wanted to, like, educate myself on that religion. Okay. Well, look, the wages of sin is death. you agree with that much? That means that you're going to die one day. You're going to die. You, you realize that. Yeah, that's not an agnostic sure. question. I don't agree that that's the wages of sin. But well, God's going to pay you for your sin. See, God sure, paid because you believe in God. That's and because of, yeah, I got a book, right. I, I completely if I could respect prove. that you guys are doing this. I'm just saying it's not going to reach me, and I'm sorry. So I think huh. I'm going to go. Okay, but ten out of people, ten out of ten people die. You do know that, right? What it's if I could prove well, to you? Yeah. What if I could, in five minutes, prove to you God exists? I have had a lot of, just like you've said, you've seen a lot of people like me. I've seen a lot of people like you guys, and again, I completely respect you, but I have heard a lot, and I think I'm just gonna move on. Okay, so but without, so you're an, you're an honorary agnostic. Well, truth is you guys can't actually prove anything, and neither can we, Very so true. we're just kind of talking words at each other, and there's but, nothing gonna happen. So until you guys die... Well, I can prove from science that God exists. Okay. I really can. If so you give me five what minutes. About, what about, um, from science? Mm -hmm. What about all the scientific theories that go against the Bible? Well, there's, you know, there's a lot of theories that go against the Bible. There's a lot of theories that go with the Bible. You you're you're talking science. about theories, yeah. Well, let's talk about scientific facts. You, you, do you believe there it? aren't actually scientific facts. They're only theories because we can't prove anything that's on the Earth. That's, that is a fact. Is, it, is there an atmosphere on the moon? That actually can't be proven. Technically, can't? we can't prove that Earth has an atmosphere. Actually, it, it's very true. So you are an honorary agnostic. Can you, you can't prove that, you're here? I guess that's your opinion. Are you saying you can't prove you're here? Um, if you look into, like, a lot of different theories, like Freudian theories, that's actually, yes, technically, no, you can't prove that you're here. Okay, well. Appreciate Reincarnation! Yeah. Hey, you must be born again. I just, that's true. You must be born again. Not reincarnation. Because after ju judgment, or after death, it's judgment. And they, you the, must be born again. When you, stub, when you stub your toe tonight, say, I, I can't prove that really happened. Tonight we're going to ask you a question, a serious question. If you died this night, as people die every night, where would you spend all of eternity? Hell is no joke. Hell is not a word. Hell is not a party. Hell is your destination without the Lord Jesus Christ. Hell, my friends, below your feet. Hell is your home. Unless, my friends, you receive the free gift of salvation. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We want you to be warned tonight. We want you to know that you don't have to die without Jesus.
Jesus. My friend, he's the ticket. He's the way to heaven. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but through him. Amen. Tonight you're saved or you're lost. You're heaven bound or you're going to hell. My friend, hell is not a joke. Won't you be saved? The Bible says, except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. There are people in hell tonight that wish they could have your chance to be saved. Jesus Christ said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. God is eternal life. Glory to God that you hear what I'm saying tonight.